Hey everyone, so I am back today for a hair video and honestly, I'm a nervous wreck. Um, I'm scared to death because I'm going to be doing at home highlights and I have this frost and glow kit from, or frost and design from L'Oreal and it is a cap set. I was initially going to try and biolash my hair, but it's such a, I don't know, if you mess up then it don't look good and I would have had to have dyed my roots brown and I've got grays and I don't know I just don't feel like messing with that right now so I'm gonna go ahead and try out this frost and design kit so um, this is in H65 caramel and here is what my hair looks like so far it is like second or third day hair so it is kind of dirty um, but as you can tell I do have kind of like lighter spots in my hair from the sun and my hair is virgin hair it is it's natural hair like it. it's not been dyed or anything like that so <sighs> i'm gonna go ahead and do this and also i did buy the l'oreal ever per ever pure brass toning purple shampoo and um this is supposed to get rid of brassiness so i'm gonna go ahead and get the cap on and i will be right back Okay, so I look really really funny right now. I just went ahead and brushed my hair I put on a t-shirt that I just honestly I don't care about so in the kit they gave me two um, Two hooks and this is really cool because I used to use the Revlon um, The Revlon highlighting kit and they just give you a plastic hook This one actually came with a metal hook, which I'm gonna save this so um, this is the most painful part for me is getting the hair through the holes so I'm gonna get a mirror and I'm gonna show you uh, doing that right, real quick like a couple holes and then I'll be back with it all through that I'm gonna highlight so I'll be right back and I am going to do this um, in every hole I don't want like streaky highlights I just want all over so I'm going to go ahead and do a few holes and then I will be back. Alright, I will be back with all of my hair out and then I will go on to the next step. Alright, you guys, I guess I'm going full out here. Um, my husband helped me and we pulled the hair through every single hole. So, I have like, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned because it's going to be a lot of hair going. Um, there is some hair that's not, but seriously, you guys, I'm not kidding when I say this is going to be a very drastic difference. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing up everything. Um, and if anybody says they're doing this on their own, I would have to say no they're not because I couldn't see the back at all to do this. So, and I'll probably be using the gloves a lot to apply this to my hair, so. So I gotta put on my gloves. And I probably will have to have my husband's help to get the back fully saturated with this. And I'm really liking the fact that this kit has toner. So it says thoroughly mix all the lightening powder. Oh, I gotta have scissors. Alright, I'm back with some scissors. So this is this. Um, mix all the lightening powder 
and all cream developer. So, you guys, seriously, my neighbor keeps walking in our yard by our window and it's very rude. I don't know why he does it. There's one lightning powder. This came with two lightning powders, so I don't know if this is, this must have been a kit for long hair. And I'm, I got a lot of hair out, I'm very concerned. There's more hair that has been pulled through the cap than what's left underneath, so. This is gonna be a very drastic difference. And I told my mother-in-law and father-in-law that I wasn't gonna do this. I was gonna back out because I just was afraid and nervous and wanted to stick with my dark hair and then today I was like, forget it, I'm doing it. So, you guys, I almost put the wrong thing in here. What is this then? Frosting protective cream, I don't know what that is. Okay, cream developer next. So, I'm gonna pour the cream developer into the tub and pour in the lining. Powder. I think it said to do the entire contents. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, yeah. All of it. This is gonna be a lot. I think this kit was for long hair. And now I mix the open frosting protective cream to by removing cap inverting it as shown, and puncturing top of tube with point of cap. Do not point. Add entire contents of tube to mixture. So this is the tube. I couldn't decide, figure out if this was the developer or not, but it's not. I don't know what this is, honestly, but it's supposed to go in, I guess. Okay, so now we gotta mix all of this. This is a lot. Is it should make a thick creamy paste so now that's mixed so mm, I got really dark hair so this is gonna have to stay on my hair for at least probably 50 minutes so I guess I start applying this it's said to start at the back of the head so um, I can't see the back of my head so I guess I'm just gonna start at the top and I feel like maybe I should use my gloves. So I'm gonna use my gloves to do this, honestly. I just, I feel like that's probably the safest route. There's no going back now, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna step away so I can see in my mirror what I'm doing, so I'll be back. All right, you guys, it's done, and I can already see it changing, so um, I think I have to put this bag on, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this bag on my head. I'm so scared. Um, so, it says, and cover with overcap, so my husband helped me with the back, and I have a feeling it may have went through some of the holes on accident, like, oh, I'm scared. Okay, so they gave me this thing to go over. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And this will just ensure that my heat stays in. And I did save some of the bleach just in case I have to fix some mistakes. So I need a clip to clip this and then I will see you all soon to take this off. Um, I'll take it off after I rinse my hair. I'm nervous so I will see you all very very soon. I also forgot to say that I have to leave this on for 50 minutes because my hair is dark brown. So 
I'm gonna let this sit for 50 minutes and then I will be back. Uh, you guys, seriously, look at my hair, how yellow it is. I am so scared, you guys. Oh my gosh, it is so, so yellow. Oh, so I have 20 more minutes before this comes out, like 15 to 20 minutes. I did have to touch up some sections that weren't turning, like there were some brown sections towards the ends. So I had to add more dye to that. So I'm gonna have to leave it on longer. I set the timer for 45 minutes. Um, I may have to leave it in for 55 just to make sure those ends, which you can kind of see them. It's like the heat from my head's not reaching them. I don't know. But I did save some of the lightener just in case I have issues. So I'm having very bad flashbacks right now to a time when I was in high school and tried to go blonde with bleach. Um, with a, a hair dye kit and let's just say my school picture was not that great. <laughs> I had very bright orange hair and it looked terrible so I am a nervous wreck right now sick to my stomach and feeling like I probably screwed up my hair so yeah look at that oh my gosh it is so scary so scary and there's so much hair that got pulled through so um we're gonna see what happens i really hope they gave me plenty of the color toning rinse and hopefully this right here works i will be leaving this in my hair for a long long time to make sure we get rid of any brassiness so I'll be back once I have to, I think, I have to rinse it out. You have to rinse off the, um, yeah, it says once strands have achieved your ideal color. So I'm just going to leave it in until I'm happy with, with the way the color looks, which is going to probably be an hour. So um, discard over cap, leave highlighting cap in place and rinse off mixture. Then gently remove vinyl lining cap and discard it along with any remaining mixture. So, I will be back once I've rinsed my hair and I will pull this off with you all on camera and we will see if I screwed up my hair because I don't know what's going to happen. I'm scared. So, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Alright, you guys. My hair is up in the purple shampoo and I have to use the toner next. Um, there's also a shampoo, so I'll use the shampoo and then the toner, and then I'm going to style my hair, and I will come back and show you the finished hair. I am pretty certain it's probably going to look really bad, so we'll see. I'll see you all soon. Alright, you guys, so it is the next day, and this is how my hair turned out. Um, lots and lots of blonde and I apologize you're gonna hear my cat so here is the finished result let me know what you all think I am definitely going to be going to Sally's to get some toner um, there are some sections that are orangey and brassy and some sections that are yellow like back here it's really brassy um, and I'm going to get some toner to correct that that will be in my next video but I just wanted to show you all how it turned out. Um, and also there are some sections that turned really, really blonde. So I'm definitely going to be getting toner to kind of fix those spots. But um, let me know what you all think. Um, do you think that the highlighting kit turned out good? Um, this is a major, major, major change for me. So um, it's crazy. I'm very very pleased with the outcome um, my kids and my husband love it so I'm happy let me know what you all think again in the comments and also if you all can recommend a really nice toner like something that gives like warm uh, tones or like I don't want to go ashy and I don't want to go cool tones so just recommend something that will help my hair um, I kind of wish I would have gotten more highlights like around that dark piece but I don't know. I think it looks good. Um, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next hair video.